Keep y'all some videos throughout the day. We're about done with this job. All right, I'm in a situation here. There's really no pressure against it, so I'm not worried about nothing. Like I got a place to to get away. Dope man's up there. I got another racket, but. Uh, but yeah, she's a big one. Pick a sycamore. I'm trying to finish up, so I'm gonna cut this one. I'm gonna cut that one, and that one, and there's another one down there. I don't know if I'm gonna cut it just yet. But, the canopy looks good. It's not butchered. We cut all back in there. Uh, been a good job. We got the other side to do. So, we're trying to do a little cleanup. I'll have to go behind Wilbur. I'm gonna bring, it, bring the brush down here. Let's see what he does. He kind of just moved it out of the way. But, all right. We'll see how this goes. I want it to go behind me. It might go in front of me. Hell, I don't know where it's going to go, to be honest with you. I got my notch set to kind of go right up through here. So, once he gets this one, get it out. We got a bunch more laid down. We're just trying to get some of the hard shit while we got some wood in the yard. Or had some wood in the yard. It's about all gone now. But. Alright. Well, this was a fun one. Did she come out? Well, she, it went. It laid just the way I wanted it to. I can stand up. I just gotta get her out. She's a big one now. Sycamores are heavy though. Alright. Sit down. We off to the next adventure. We're finally getting some actually good timber. We had to cut a bunch of stuff for the landowner. He wanted just a bunch of stuff cut. Uh, it wasn't worth nothing. Really good timber in here. We signed the contract to log this. And there's three landowners. They all three signed and agreed to it. But once we got up here, they wouldn't let us cut from right here down. And to, to, to me, I think that's a breach of contract. Uh, I'm not fighting it, but there's the dozer. That's a good, a good dozer. Get them out, stage them up, head them out. That's good. If it pulls out good, what we do, we got a rack built. So we just hang it right there. Usually I'm the operator, but I'm training this boy. He's uh, starting to become a good good little operator. I mean, you gotta train these people to to do something, that, you know, like me. I didn't wanna hook cable the rest of my life, you know? So I learned how to cut. 
you know, I always pipelined and did other things. And uh, run, run equipment was, was one of them. Everything worked out though. The coronavirus put a damper on a lot of, a lot of people's plans. Man, I, I finally, after I started pipelining at 19, I traveled with the non-union for a while, with union for a while, and I finally got me a cushion job. And uh, coronavirus hit, so now I'm back down to labor again. I own the company, man. I got a partner. But it is what it is. All right, I'll show you to the yard. Got a couple down. This is about the end of the job right here. That's good. Some off his pipeline, though. That's it. Well, we put some logs in the yard. Big as ours. 